Sir John Major has been giving evidence that the inquiry into the infected blood scandal during the 1970s and 80s, people with haemophilia or those who needed transfusions were given blood products as part of their treatment, but some of the blood was contaminated and more than 33,000 people were infected with hepatitis C or HIV. To date, more than 3,000 people have died. There were gasps at the inquiry as the former Prime Minister described the victims as suffering from incredibly bad luck. Our health editor Hugh Pym has this report. He said um, he's always felt like he was on death row but without committing any crime. I just want a sincere apology from somebody. Deborah reflects on how Barry's life has been blighted. Because of his treatment for haemophilia, he was infected with hepatitis C. He's needed a liver transplant after a liver cancer diagnosis. His wife Deborah says as an NHS nurse, she's appalled by what happened. It breaks my heart to think. When I was putting up those blood transfusions, there was people within the NHS who knew that that blood was contaminated, but chose not to impart that knowledge. Today, Sir John Major gave evidence. After the scandal emerged, he was at the Treasury in the late 1980s, then Prime Minister. He was questioned on the campaigner's struggle to get financial aid. I mean, there's no amount of compensation you can give that could actually compensate for what had happened to them. What had happened to them was incredibly bad luck. Uh, awful. And, and, and it, it was not something that anybody was unsympathetic to. There were gasps at those words, bad luck. Later, he said he hadn't meant to be dismissive or offensive. Payouts were given to those who had HIV, but initially not to patients with hepatitis C. Sir John acknowledged that might have been wrong. Every life is individual. And so I, I can see that argument. And I'm not entirely sure in, respect, in retrospect that we took the right decision then. And I was quite pleased when a subsequent government took a different view. People coming to the inquiry have been encouraged, if they wish, to leave messages in bottles remembering loved ones who lost their lives because of the contaminated blood scandal. But it's unlikely to be before the middle of next year that they get to see a final report with conclusions. I've always believed. So what did Deborah and Barry think of Sir John Major's comments? I personally don't feel that there's anything genuine there. Um, I don't think he understands the impact that it has had on so many people's lives. Those who have lost their children, their husbands, a life that's been lost. <laughs> I can't talk about it. There'll be more evidence from former politicians. Debbie and Barry want to hear apologies and then a guarantee of compensation. Hugh Pym, BBC News.